Of course, the Commonwealth Network is not the only beneficiary of this new trade landscape, but with English as the working language, which it is in most places, with dozens of Commonwealth-wide professional links, with its common law legal system, with its shared values, with its network of 530 universities operating within a linked system, and with its ferment of digital exchanges of deals and initiatives expanding daily at a colossal speed, it cannot but be the ideal and superbly fertilized seedbed in which both the trade and investment of every sort are bound to flourish. It's little wonder, ladies and gentlemen, that several other countries are showing interest in joining the Commonwealth or being closely associated with it, such as, for instance, the Republic of Ireland. And it's no wonder that the head of the Commonwealth, Her Majesty the Queen, with greater percipience than most, has described the Commonwealth that as, quotes, in many ways, the face of the future. We at the Royal Commerce Society, with our branches across the globe, will play our full part in binding the Commonwealth together, with initiatives and research ranging from vastly upgrading the role of women and gender equality, to boosting youth entrepreneurship, literature and creative industry encouragement, saving the world's forests, and identifying the huge growth in uh, business potential in the great markets of the Commonwealth Network. We see ourselves at the RCS as the master framework, frame makers in which the picture of trade expansion, security cooperation, and common commitment to democracy and the rule of law can be painted and presented. And we will work closely with the City Corporation as they too give binding depth to this picture with their huge financial reach and skills, which are growing all the time. Ladies and gentlemen, we are a family and a network bound together by trust in a thoroughly dangerous and unsettled world. Yet in this stormy context, I believe the Commonwealth is on the pathway to new relevance, new purpose, and new prosperity. My country, United Kingdom, will play its part and draw strength from its Commonwealth friends and allies as we build our modern relationship with a reformed European Union. So I end by wishing you all the best of good fortune on our joint journey ahead together. Thank you.